Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having the most amazing Friday ever. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do tea video and pop culture videos every single day. So make sure you guys go and hit that subscribe button because listen, before you roll your eyes, okay, bitch? Listen, I know damn well you're gonna wanna stick around for the tea, okay? So make sure you subscribe, grab a snack, grab a drink, put that pillow over your tummy, relax, and let's do it. So listen, you guys, Jeff Wittick is, as you guys know, Jeff is not holding anything back. Jeff is like super freaking over everything. He's not allowing David Dobrik to get away with anything, which at the end of the day, honestly, you guys, it's it, it makes a lot of sense to me. So let's get into this. Um, Jeff Wittig told, you know, he said on his podcast that one of the things that really, really, really just like opened his eyes and did it for him was, you know, like about David Dobrik was that, so allegedly David Dobrik has a documentary coming out and I guess one of the directors or something FaceTime Jeff or somebody who works in it FaceTime Jeff and showed him a clip of when David is asked about the crane incident. Well, it, Jeff says that in the clip, David actually insinuates that it's Jeff's fault. Now listen, Jeff is obviously incredibly upset because David Dobrik doesn't seem to care and doesn't seem to even show a little bit of remorse or even reach out to Jeff and make sure he's doing good. And that is one of the things that really upset Jeff was that in his ninth eye surgery, David Dobrik didn't even have the decency to, you know, send him a message, say hello, like, you know, what's going on? Are you okay? Like, you know, are you in pain? Do you need a burger? Like, I don't know, bitch, you know what I mean? So obviously Jeff is like over the fake friend thing. And honestly, like I understand because like nowadays it is 2022, honey. We do not have the time for fake friends. We do not have the time to spend crying over fake friends who don't give a damn about you, okay? And that is just the damn truth, amen. Um, so anyways, Jeff is basically saying how he is super, super over the situation with David and that he just doesn't care about the friendship anymore, right? So he's saying that it, that, David is blaming Jeff. Jeff is blaming David. But you know what? At the end of the day, and I'm so sorry, it is both of their faults, right? It is literally both of their faults. You know, David Dobrik has been using his friends and putting them in very dangerous and uncomfortable situations for click, you know, for content and clickbait. And his friends have gotten along with it. But here's the thing, you guys. I honestly believe that it is more David's fault. I do think that Jeff felt very manipulated, but I can say, you know, Jeff is also a grown ass man. He could have literally said, David, listen to me. I'm not getting on that crane, right? David is saying that Jeff, uh, that Jeff wanted, no, sorry. Yeah, that Jeff wanted to do the crane thing, blah, blah, blah. Um, here's the thing. I think that he, David found a perfect group of people who want clout, who want to be you know, uh, in the, in the industry who want the, the followers, who want the money, who want to be, you know, present and around and famous. Right. And I think that they, they know what they signed up for. Right. So as much as I, I agree with Jeff, I think that David, you know, not, I mean, David cannot sit here and blame Jeff. You know what I mean? Like David, this is not the first time he puts his friends in dangerous situations. And, you know, that's his whole content. That's his whole bit. It's without the vlog squad and these people going along with whatever David says, there is no content, okay? But Jeff, honestly, you know, he really could have, he could have lost his life. So the fact that even after Jeff didn't sue him, didn't press charges, like all of these things that he is saying that he should have done or that he didn't even do, David should honestly should have shown a little bit more like support and a little bit more love and a little bit more like gratitude for not, you know, for Jeff even said that he could have had David deported. Okay. Um, so, you know, it's just like all those things are, you know, when you mix also friendship with business, it always sort of ends badly as much as you try to make things work. You know, my grandfather always said, don't mix money, religion, or politics with your friends and you'll have a successful, you know, friendship. Um, and I really do believe that because nowadays I feel like you cannot 
disagree with it, you know, with people because then you are, you know, it's not good. But you know, I'm I'm always open to like a healthy discussion, and that's why I have the friends I have, and it's because they allow me to have my opinion. They allow me to have, you know, my look how cute, look how fucking adorable he is. Oh my god, he's so cute. Look at that. Just look at that. A little dog ASMR moment. Anyways, so you know, I think. If David really is sitting here and blaming uh, Jeff, he has another thing coming. Jeff is going to literally do whatever it takes to end David Dobrik. I honestly, I believe that. You know what I mean? I think, I think Jeff is, he's over it. And I think that he really realized that like, there's no friendship here. So I don't have to protect anything. Why should I stay silent? Why should I not, you know, say anything? I'm going to talk, I'm going to say what I need to say, and if David likes it, he likes it, and if he doesn't, he doesn't. But David blaming Jeff, I think it's both their fault. I really do. I mean, you know, there is such thing as manipulation and feeling pressured to do things, and I, I firmly believe that because I am honestly the same. It is like whenever I don't like want to do something, my friend is like, come on, Sebastian, please. I'm like, okay, but inside I don't want to do it, right? So, you know... I understand peer pressure, manipulation, all of these things, and that is real. Um, but I think that I think they all know exactly what, why, why, and why they're there and what what their job is, and it's to make content for David Dobrik. And David Dobrik pays the big big things, and they have to do it because he's not dumb enough to get and do the stunts himself. So you know, it's sort of like a jackass version now. Um, but Johnny Knoxville got his, his, you know, he got in the stunts too. David Dobrik doesn't. Um, but I don't know, you guys. What do you think? Who Whose fault do you think it is? You know, David's blaming Jeff. Jeff is blaming David. I honestly say they both are at fault, but David wins with more. You know what I mean? Like, David should never have um, done what he did with the crane. That's just point blank, period. And you know what? It doesn't hurt and it doesn't take time to be there for your friend and check in, especially if you're the one who unfortunately got them involved in what happened to them. So um, I don't know, you guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. I am so incredibly grateful. I really, really do. Oh, girl, my glasses are dirty. I really do appreciate you guys. I'm super, super thankful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll see you guys in my next video and um, have a fabulous weekend, girl. Because, listen, it's the weekend. What are your plans? What are you going to eat? Let me know in the comments. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.